In the first Blitz game, Kasparov had white. It was a fluctuating struggle, very tense game, which finally ended in a draw. Probably a fair result. Anand showed in that game that he is a class Blitz player. He really had Kasparov worried. If you like uh, playing Blitz, maybe um, you can always go along to the uh, local uh, Geneva Chess Club and, uh, and some information about it outside. It's worth uh, going along. There's also discussions about some of the games that were played in this tournament. Look at the opening, Dan. That's interesting. But back to, back to this one. They're repeating, <coughs> excuse me, they're repeating the opening from their first game where really Kasparov won, won a, a beautiful game, quite convincingly, and they're playing exactly the same way. I well, wonder, so far, exactly the same moves. First 15 moves, exactly the same. Anand hasn't had, really had time to prepare anything new. Maybe he's got a second idea he wants to try out in this game. Now Kasparov having to think again. What's, should he play in exactly the same way? <laughs> is this position easier to play for white or black? This is often... He's key, pushed on it? with G4. Immediately, though. He, before he played E6 first. You know, so he's changed. Kasparov's the first to get a new move. Oh, and Anand offering the pawn on b2. What happens? Knight takes b2, rook b1, rook c8. Knight takes b2, rook b1, queen c7. Rook b1, queen c7. Doesn't look too bad for that, does it? Knight d5. No, rook c8 he can play. Oh, rook c8. You could have played rook c8 first, that's true. Yeah, that, that's another story. Well, okay. Knight takes b2 we... might be possible, but uh, rook c8's a, a safe move. And and uh, <coughs> attempting to improve his play um, in the first game, but I'm not I'm not totally convinced by this. B3 has come all the same. Now where does the knight move back to? B6. Yeah. Then A3. Ooh. I suppose you're just going for a simple uh, something takes C2 at the moment. So what do you play? Queen D2 followed by knight D5. Knight D5. Actually E6. Uh, but now where are you going? B4, the knight is a bit short. Nice chasing around the board. <laughs> yes, it's, it's almost comical how these two knights have been hopping all over the place and nothing else has been happening. But okay, this I think this is okay for for uh, Anand. Somehow, knight this knight on A3 looks very odd this indeed. Is, like it's getting critical very quickly. Knight down to D3. What, what do you think? Knight D3, maybe then bishop takes D4 and rook takes C2. And where you. It's very well, risky. You're giving up you're you're your black squares for that four. Right? Queen's come to e1, defending a knight on b4. Trying to hold his position together. And then, well, who's got the worst h4, place on h4, Kasparov advancing those pawns you, again. Obviously you can't take an h4 because you lose the, 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 the uh, knight on d4. I suppose you can play c4 and the knight on a3 might look a bit silly later on. Maybe rook d1, bishop e3. <laughs> He's trying to play. Where are we going to get the same structure? <laughs> Pawn down to h3, then g3. That's right. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, that's how, that's He's how done it. Up. Well, we've almost got the same pawn structure as in that first game, and somehow, I, I mean, I was very skeptical about White's position in that game. Knight b5. You know, they. Knight b5, this is quite dangerous. Knight takes b5 is possible, with ideas of if the bishop takes a1, knight takes d6 check. But if the knight <coughs> takes b5, there's bishop takes b5, and both white rooks are on prees. So, okay, rook d1. Just bringing this centre. And now look at knight finds a better square. Knight c3. Oh, there's a pin. It's set. Yeah. It's a temporary oh, but pin. This, but this list looks awful. I don't, I don't like the way Anand's Maybe you should play. play this. This knight on c3 is tremendous. And now the rook on d1 is attacked. The pawn on e4 is attacked. I think Anand is in all kinds of trouble. This is, this is a repeat performance. Of, of the first game, look at Anand's king, it's wide open. I think it was a mistake to, I think you should have sat the exchange with knight f2 and picked up the g-pawn in conversation. With well, I just don't think you should have gone for this opening again, he obviously no. didn't have a, a clear improvement. Hold on, hold on. There's, a, there's a something up the e, happening on the e-file, isn't there, on the f-file. Yeah, all sorts of funny things are happening here. Knight f5, okay, Anand has given up a couple of pawns, just trying to get some play, but it looks desperate. Queen c6, there we go, we've got the same mate thread <laughs> yeah. again, it's the same yes, as in the first game. Queen e2, defending against the mate, but... This is pretty ugly. Oh, Queen, Queen E4, that's okay. a powerful move. Hitting the rook, then hitting the bishop. There can be all sorts of exchanges here. Just a rook to F1, rook, rook to F1, and then bishop H6 just wins on the spot. Because oh dear, I think the Anand is completely collapsed in this game. I think he should have. Oh, rook, to, rook F2 is a better square because at least G2 is. Defended. Knight D5 is a horrible. Kasparov dominating, everything. dominating the position. That's right. I mean, just a, a series of exchanges, and you've got a very nice ending. There's no longer any problems. Just take it off. Kasparov, take two it off. pawns up, 
technically winning position. Yeah. He's just exchanging pieces now. It's all over. Put your king on a square like. What's the queen takes g4? What's he overlooked? This is incredible. The queen on g4 attacking the rook on c8. Now, black's queen is attacked on e3. White should have played. But no, wait a second. Queen, the black queen moves back. Queen check, king he's up. Castled. He's castled. He's oh, he's queen. castled. He's sacking his queen. He should have played knight takes e3. And then, it was, then he got the technical position. Queen takes e3. It was just two laps. That's, the laps. Well, that's that's got a big advantage on the clock, but suddenly... What how's the position? What an elementary blunder from Kasparov. He had a winning position, and now how is it? Well, <laughs> completely unclear. Kasparov still has chances here. It was a, a rook and a bishop for the queen, but Anan moving the queen in. Knight d4. Maybe now e4 next move. The idea of bringing the rook down as the c4. Oh, but Anan just Knight munching these pawns. Good move. The queen on Stopping b7. E4. Stopping e4. Covers the pawn on e4. And rook c3. Got to get active. Got to get times active. 145 for Anan. Two and a half minutes for Kasparov. You better get active. Rook c3. Come on, get those pieces going. Double the rooks, maybe. Oh no, double rooks is disastrous. F7 drops. Well, there's, there's knight c4. I, I think Kasparov is completely lost. What an extraordinary blunder. Yes. Yet an elementary oversight. Knight e6, uh, then knight c5, maybe. I don't know, but the, the black pieces aren't really working no. in harmony, are they? I think the most important thing, Anand has got rid of those pawns that were cramping his king, so Anand's king is safe, and... Oh, I, I just cannot believe that, that move from Kasparov. It's blitz, and in blitz, all... All is fair. Okay, knight c4, there we go. D5. Pawns, oh, now oh, queen takes, rook takes rook. knight. Very, yeah, very nice pretty. tactics. But knight d6, what about knight d6? And then the f7 square is... Uh, knight d6 looks good, there we go. Knight d3 check, king h3, the king is pretty safe on this square. You can't get a rook to the and h5. And now f7 is caving in, and I'm threatening rook takes f7. f5, f5 oh, f5. but now his king it's is very hope. exposed. Oh, uh, Kasparov wants to play rook f6, rook h6. Yes, what can you do? Has he found some way to, 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 to confuse the issue? What to play? Queen to e7 or something? Queen to Queen. e6. At least there's some checks on the white. Okay, and now what about rook f6? F4. He's played f4. Kasparov fighting for his life here. Kasparov is incredible resources again. It's knight amazing. f7. And now knight, knight g5. g5. Five have no idea. What can black do? It must and be then something. Queen here. across. That's dangerous. Knight g5 check and queen g6 threatened. So Anand's now going on the attack. That's right. And look at the times. One minute and a few seconds each. It's enough time to get something. Minute and a half, Kasparov. A minute. Rook f7. Kasparov has given up. And he's, he's, he's oh. given it up. And now rook f6. He gave up his rook to get some play, but he wants to play rook h6 check. Rook h6 check, come on, what's going on? This is extraordinary. Kasparov managing to keep chances alive just when it's, you think the position's it's over. It's murky, it's murky, but what can you do with e4 followed by rook h6 with some sort of perpetual play? F5. F5. That's cutting things down. Good move. D4. D4. Get those d-pawns going. It's, it's Kasparov's managed to get incredible And now how is, how is rook f4, queen e7, he just wants to play queen takes pawn on e4. And, and with... A material advantage here, queen against bishop and knight, but Kasparov fighting for his life here. How about d3, queen takes e4, d2, rook takes d2, rook check, knight f1 check, and knight takes rook on d2. Well, this is maybe possible. Kasparov glancing in the clock, he's under a minute, but Hanan only has 47 seconds left. 47 Can is 55, 54, incredible stuff. Rook h6 check, king goes to g3. Can you find a move then? You're a bit restricted. Play rook h6, king g3. Knight. F1, knight d1, what's this? He's your rook. rook. Rook f4. Maybe if white's threatening rook g4, that would be end of the world. Rook g4 and wins. Rook g4, that looks over. And he's resigned. Extraordinary. <laughs> Let's just go back to that critical position in the final game. Here Kasparov played queen takes e3, blunder, and then Vichy played queen takes g4, so that the rook on c8 is attacked by the queen on g4, and the rook on e1 has been uncovered by the queen and is now attacking the queen on e3. So something had to give, and that's why Kasparov gave up his queen.
but a, a really terrible mistake. Instead of that, it was possible just to play knight takes e3. Just exchange the pieces the other way around. And now Anand really must recapture. Queen takes e3. Queen takes queen. Rook takes queen. And simply castles kingside. Kasparov is two pawns up here. I don't think it's going to be terribly difficult for him to win. And next move, he'll be able to play pawn to f5 and just steam those pawns down the board. It's just a completely winning position for black. There was a time when Kasparov was considered to be invincible. He just went from tournament to tournament, leaving a trail of destruction behind him. But times have changed. The cracks are beginning to show, and his rivals can sense that the gap between them and the world champion is now. This was the big prize. C'était vraiment le grand prix. I'm absolutely delighted uh, that I won it. Wow.